the sandwich. Here. One of the co-founders, I'm Daniela, also one of the co-founders, and Liliana Basara is doing the current uh, exhibition here at Sandwich. Hello. And uh, we're just uh, hanging out, waiting for the new first visitors today. Uh, let me show you where we started Sandwich, because here is more of like the hangout space. And we are very lucky to have this outdoor space in front of the gallery, especially in this time. So we, we started Sandwich because we wanted to use this uh, residual space. This is between two uh, studios, two storage units actually. And uh, come along. Enter the Sandwich. Uh, this seems like a small space, but it's actually very generous. Uh, you have eight meters wide and although it's only one and a half meters um, wide um, there is this kind of sense of um, of space because of the height of the whole thing and um, we we like to say that we saw the potential in this uh, formerly unused space and uh, we wanted to see what other artists uh, would like to do with it. So we, we did some shows here and then we invited friends and then we invited other artists. These are just the, this is not an artwork, <laughs> just, just to make it clear. This polystyrene thing is uh, the remains of, um, of the last exhibition that was here last year by Jin Ning Ning, a Chinese artist from Shanghai. And then uh, we, we didn't want to get stuck in this, you know, we didn't want to get stuck in this corridor and be this kind of uh, weird, weird space that just is, is doing just this narrow thing. We didn't want to do um, a fetish out of it. And uh, last year, or two years ago actually, we also got the space in our, on our right side. Let's go and have a look. And we decided to also do an indoor sandwich that we called Sandwich Chocolat. So this is Chocolat, this is the extension of sandwich. Um, so when we invite an artist to do a project here, uh, we emphasize the outdoor space, the corridor, but also they have at their disposal this, which is, let's say, a little bit more towards a gallery setting, but not really. Uh, we don't want to cover all the walls. We wanted to keep this, um, we wanted to keep this metal, rusty metal uh, walls, just, just as they are. And I think it's very interesting that we can see some of the writing, um, not writing, some notes that were here from a long time ago, like like there, and it's impossible to erase it. I don't know how, how what they used to, to write with. Also, it's very, I think it's very, um, very easy in a way to work with this kind of space because artists can make holes in the roof, like, like this, another artist, uh, Jorge Peris from Spain last year, he basically took out half of the roof and, and, and this, this wall was wide open. And I think it's a little bit of a luxury that we have that uh, basically the artists have no real limits in what they can do to even destroy the place if they want to. 
and it's good for us, it's good for them, and we're just waiting to see what the next artist is going to come up with. Uh, they have all the freedom. They have all the freedom they want. They, if they want to use it, so that's. Uh, I consider that a privilege, to be honest. Hi, I am uh, uh, Alexandru Nicolescu, I am one of the co-founders of Sandwich and um, I would like to show you um, some of our uh, flyers uh, that we do um, after each show. Uh, this is an exhibition done by Aneta Monakisha and Lucia Chakova and uh, Sandwich Chocolat was transformed into uh, a, a giant uh, 3D broken screen and this is Mike Nelson that he used the sculpture that they were abandoned in this place plaster models of the monuments uh, public commissions by uh, around the, uh, the city this is um, our swimming pool made by Daniela Polimariu and um, this work uh, gained um, a lot of um, attention and um, uh, it also helped us to, uh, uh, to visualize the potential of this uh, place. Um, our friend Dan Perjowski, he transformed into a beautiful fridge asking all the institutions to uh, where he had exhibitions, galleries, institutions, that he run spaces to send us the content of the exhibition which was magnets okay. yeah and um, and this was another special project it was a bar for cats made by a French artist Anaïs Touchot Sandwich is surrounded by and by um, wild cats. Another iconic exhibition, especially designed for winter. It's an object by uh, um, Raluca Popa. It was inspired by this poem, Romanian poem, uh, "Winter on the Ulita." <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's hard to believe, but this actually is the same place, sandwich. It's a kaleidoscope made by this artist, Dan Vezentan, who transformed the, the small space into an infinity one. Welcome to my church. <laughs> I am the highest priest. This is my altar. Here, I perform the ceremonies. You can drink the blood of your enemy or tears of happiness. You have nightmares. Erotic one, of course. And you get to think about tongues and fruits and flowers. Everything is to be performed as a, as spells for you and for the others. Here, heads of for your enemy, or for your friends, or friends of friends or friends of the enemy, you know better. You can hide yourself, showing your true nature. These are crucifixes. Pray. 
Think about your sins. Think deeply about your sins. Now there are no more sins. Nature, it's on our, it's on our side. Flowers or fruit. Let's cancel the original sin. Adam and Eve ate all the apples. Nothing happened because God was somewhere else. 